we're talking about with the linear equation is pretty much, you know, kind of two forms. One, we write um, slope-intercept form, or we could also look into standard form. Either way, let's just look at it. Whenever you have um, two variables and we want to determine is it a linear equation or not, let's look at it in slope equals mx plus b. Um, yeah. mx plus b form. All linear equations can, can be uh, written in this format, meaning they're also going to create a line. Okay? So a linear equation, when graphed, is going to create a line. Remember, m represents a real number, which is your slope. b represents a real number, which is your intercept, and x or y intercept. And x and y are your variables of your coordinate points. So let's say I say y equals you know one half x plus two. You know, so this is going to be a line, and I'll tell you a couple reasons why it's a line. And it's a line because whenever you have a linear equation and you have your variable, okay, you have to have your variables both to an exponent of 1. All right, so whenever you have your variables, anything to an other power of 1, you're not going to have a linear equation. So your variables always have to be to a variable of 1, okay? And this can even work, I'm not even going to show the standard form. Well, this slope with slope intercept. So as long as you have your variables are in the same format, and they are not being multiplied by each other, then you're good, you have a linear equation. However, if you have like two equals yx, even though these are both in, um, to the first power, you cannot have your variables multiply each other, nor can you have y equals one over x um, in your denominator. So you cannot have your variables being multiplied by each other, nor can you have them in the denominator. All right, and there's a way I can actually show you why, because if when it's actually in the denominator, it goes in, this is actually reason to the negative exponent. Well, that's way beyond what we need to talk about. So if you just want to go through the test of linear equations, it has to have your action, you know, it has to have your two variables, or it doesn't have to have your two variables, but um, it needs it could be it needs to be able to be put into our form of slope intercept, and then it has to have an exponent of one. Anytime you have variables multiplied by each other or in the denominator, it's not going to be a linear equation. Got it? Um, what was actually number 12? 12 was y squared minus y equals 9y. Okay, and automatically I can say this is not a linear equation because that y squared. Done. Okay? So why don't you try, see if you can do those other two. You do not have to have an x.